we are on the eve of the World Championships. Give me a flavour of this week and, and how you're feeling out of the competition. I'm feeling really good. This is my second World Champs, first World Champs abroad because London was my first one a couple of years ago. But I'm really enjoying it. I love um, coming away on like a preparation camp. I think sort of the last week in the UK before we flew out here to Dubai was, was hard because you're trying to do race prep sessions and it's cold and it's windy and all that sort of stuff and you're just itching to get away into a preparation camp where you can really focus and, and get the good sessions in and the therapy and recovery and facilities here at NAS in Dubai are just fantastic for us. So yeah, what do you get out and what do you look to get out of this week? And obviously so close to a major chance, what can you work on? Um, to be honest, at this time, all the work's been done. It's just fine tuning sessions. It's making sure your confidence is up. So you want to be doing an, um, good sort of race prep sessions where you're sort of going into the next week into the races thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to, to perform at the best that I can. Um, so that's mainly all you can do here. but. That's why we've come away somewhere warm. The track's fantastic. It's a really quick track. So I think everyone's doing sessions where we're like, yeah, we're, we're ready to go. So it's really exciting. And a new great training group for you this year, a new setup. Just tell me how that's gone and kind of already the effect you've seen that have. Yeah, it's, it's been an interesting one. Um, I knew that I couldn't stay sort of in the program that I was doing before because I was training down in Bath Uni and my coach lived up in Scotland. So I would, had done that for three years um, and I couldn't carry on for another four or five up until Tokyo doing it like that. It got really difficult. So um, I decided to move up to the performance space in Loughborough um, and train with Benki. And it's been difficult because my husband's still based down in Bath. Um, so I've been trying to commute, which was easier in the winter because you could sort of, I could come away at weekends and stuff go back home for weekends but when the summer comes around and you're going away to race at weekends it means there's less time that's when you would normally I would normally be going home so that's been the new challenge this year but the group's been really good it's been so nice to be a part of a group again rather than just being at the track training by myself um, day in day out um, so that's been really nice and Benke's um, been fantastic and the first year with a new coach is always a little bit difficult while you're both trying to get used to sort of each other so I'm sort of learning about how Benke works and Benke's learning how, I'm, how I work um, but it's gone well and sort of I'm excited to sort of see how next year in the lead up to Tokyo can go, go as well now we sort of have a bit of an idea about how each other works. Yeah, I think I saw you say you maybe overthought things a little bit last year in terms of volume of training are you cutting back or are you doing more? Um, I'm probably, if anything, doing a little bit more. Um, I've been doing a lot more sort of aerobic sessions and things like that, sort of even post-gym sessions, I would go for a 10, 20, 20 minute run, which I sort of wouldn't really do before. And we've been sort of training a lot more that side of things. Um, pretty much almost every day, I've been doing a little bit of aerobic, which I hadn't sort of done before. So that was definitely new. Um, but um, it's, it's been going really well and I've actually really enjoyed it. I think at the start I couldn't manage a 20 minute run without stopping, whereas now I can, I can do it. So <laughs> yeah, we're definitely um, improving sort of new areas that we haven't sort of done before. You've got the standard nice and early and then again at the anniversary game. So, so kind of more performances that back up your, your feeling that you've made a decision that you're comfortable with and is getting sort of good things out of you even after. Yeah, I think last year was a difficult one. So I'm glad that I'm back sort of this year running 51s and I still don't think I've quite hit a race perfectly yet. Um, I think there's more, more in the tank. Um, so hopefully I can go out to Doha and hit a race perfectly and come away with a, a quicker time. Because um, I'm definitely capable of that. So I'm hoping that we get a good one out in Doha um, and I sort of get a time that I feel like I, I can do. So it's encouraging ahead of a major champ to know there's still a little bit there that maybe that, that sort of that perfect performance is far from, from already been put out this season. Yeah, exactly. I think because I've been doing a lot more aerobic stuff in training this year, I'm stronger than I, I ever have been, but I'm still sort of I haven't really realised that I'm stronger than I ever have been before. So I'm still going off of the first bit of my race a little bit tentative. But whereas in fact because I'm stronger than I were before I've got I can get away with going out a little bit harder for the first bit. So I think it's just taken me a few races and the sort of things like that to sort of get that into my head. But now that I'm in Doha, sort of, I've got nothing to lose, and I just sort of have to go for it, really. Yeah, it's competed in London 2017 in the Home World Championships, but wearing that GB vest in Doha, what would that mean to you personally? Wearing the GB vest is always a massive honour. Um, it's what we train day in day out to do is to be able to put the GB vest on at a major championships and. The World Championships is, you don't really get, there's not much more bigger than that. So it's going to be really exciting and it's going to be a sort of a proud week. Um, and a sort of 
when you aren't performing well or when you aren't making teams, it really puts into perspective and you don't take it for granted when you have made a team. So not making the individual last year at Europeans, now that I'm here for the individual this year, I'm sort of itching to sort of grab it with both hands kind of thing and just enjoy it and, and go for it and enjoy my, my time in the GB best while I can. <laughs>